Hello and welcome to Faerun. We are gonna be Mind Flayers this time. Who are the Mind Flayers? What do they do? Well, a Mind Flayer is one of these creatures. We got tentacles and we take over people's brains. It's fantastic. And now we're gonna take over the world. But to do that, we need to change our situation a little bit. We are currently underneath this guy. This guy is our suzerain. We're his tributary. We pay him a tribute every single month. We need to get rid of him. What else do we need to do? Well, we need to get an heir. And you don't get an heir in the normal way as a mind flare because mind flares don't have children. They have uh, people whose brains they've taken over. How are we going to take over people's brains, you might ask? Well, we're going to go raid and we're going to go grab some people off of that. Then we're also going to need to, at some point, change our government types to one of these many new ones. And to allow us to do this, we also have some new wizard spells. Which, because this mod has been heavily updated since last time we played it. And you can see here, there are a ton of spells that we can cast. All of them are very cool. Um, but we don't want to use them right away, except potentially create undead. Uh, although that it does just create one undead, and we probably want quite a bit more. False life gives us more health. We're probably never going to need that one. But create undead, we could get like a single person if we needed it. I'm kind of looking for... Um, is animate dead? Yeah, animate dead would be fantastic. However, you do need to be at war to do it. How many points do you need? It gives you 500 men, and it costs 12 uh, spell points. So, we'll go into our character here. We see that we have 23. So, if we were going to war and we wanted to uh, get 500 men, immediately we go to war, cast that spell, and we're then up at 1,000 men. Sounds like a plan, right? Um, who could we declare war on if we were feeling that way and we didn't want to go raid immediately? Well, we've got this uh, Forgotten Forest here, who only has 800. We're sitting at, what, 500 men? 579. So, we could definitely beat them up. Um, the other side of things that we could do, Najara, they're a little too strong right now. Uh, Zentarim are a little too strong as well. Also, it's quite nice with us being next to Najara to have Zentarim here basically to be like, hey, you don't just have to fight us, you have to fight them. So, it makes this side of the map look a lot more appealing to them. Well, if we could get through the tree ends, we're kind of looking at, like, going into here. They're definitely humanoid people who we could take the brains of. An elf uh, being one of our... They are elves, right? Yeah, in a way. Um, I think they're drow, actually. But anyway, um, same difference. Uh, we could take one of their brains and make them our new heir. That could be cool. Something like that. Ooh, he's also undead. I don't know whether we can take over undead people's brains. Yeah, I guess we're just going to have to find out, aren't we? Right, before we get into that, we need to do all sorts of normal Crusader Kings-y stuff. So, let's set an ambition. What's our immediate ambition? I mean, we could get things like level up as a wizard, which sounds pretty cool. We're already pretty high level. Apparently there are cleric spells and things now as well. Um, I kind of think build a war chest, because we're really small, might be a good idea. And we're going to go raid people, so that seems like a great thing to do. Other side of things, focus. Um, I think our focus has to be military focused because uh, this affects our troop count. So we want as many troops as possible. So let's go war. Then we also need to get all of these. Designated regent. Does anyone like us? Sure, it can be this dude. Court physician. Uh, that one. And then magical apprentice. Even the mightiest of magic users feel the bite of time, the loss of loved ones, the very land changing, and of course, for mortal races, death itself. Some wizards, who do not desire lichdom, we're already a lich, uh, begin a family. Clerics often take on a protege priest, and of course, druids teach the young, their young, the arts. Regardless, a magica apprentice is one who is dedicated to carrying on their master profession, if not surpass them. That sounds like something we'd want to make our um, heir once we get one of them. So that seems like someone will do with it, uh, that. Now, do we have the right commanders on here? Uh, yeah, these are definitely the best two commanders we have available. Uh, I should set a court tutor. Let's just make it that guy for just now. It doesn't really matter, but it means if we have children, we don't have to deal with them. We do have an event called Shun the Living. And what this will do is kick out all living vassals and make us master of undeath. I have no idea what it does, but I don't really want to kick out all my uh, little goblin-y friends yet because... Well, we haven't used them. So, um, we've got that. Let's set up our council. Council, we're going to go for train troops to increase our levy size, because that sounds very useful. 
Um, here, we can start fabricating claims. I assume we have CBs. Yeah, we have conquest CBs and things, so we don't need to worry about that. Uh, here, we're for steward. Um, I think we're going to do build legend for the chance. It's only a 3% chance yearly, but if they can get us a few extra troops, that would be uh, lovely. Scheming seems good. We're not really going to worry about tech. Uh, oh, are you my best marshal? Yeah, you're my only marshal, to put it in another way. I'm also going to try and get some zealots, because most people near us aren't the same religion, so we could definitely do something with those. Right, well, let's go with that. Anything else that we need to do before we get started? I don't believe so. I think I'm going to unpause, go a month, and then we'll see what happens. I just want to go a month so that our um, troops are all calculated. Let's have a look here. Oh, uh, yeah, we're at 769. You're currently at 800. See, I don't want to really go over here and sit on their um, province and raid it until such a point as we've dealt with, uh, yeah, our huge troop disadvantage. You're at war. Okay, so you, you attack somebody uh, for Chilimber. Chilimber. Where is that? Uh, oh, it's this one right here. That's horrible for us. One, because it blocks us off from expansion to the south. And two, because I wanted to go and raid these guys. And if I go and sit here and raid, that's going to cause issues. Hmm. There's not really a lot we can do. These guys, yeah, they have no troops. We can't even offer to join their war. Oh, well, that's fine. Still a magical apprentice that we need. Let it run a little bit. How many troops do we have now? 650. Just need to wait a little bit more. Oh, wow. They've won their war already. I'm feeling a little bit nervous. Although it looks like Zentarim also won their war. They have a few more troops now. So we're, we're kind of even. If we join Zentarim, we're only like, what? 700 troops down? 600 troops down? That's winnable. That's, that's something we could work with. Right. You improved relations with the tree people. I mean, I'm not entirely sure why, Chancellor. That doesn't really seem like something I need you to be doing. I guess I should be sowing descent. Maybe in Najara. Just send our, uh, yeah, send our Mind Flare friend over there to see what they can do. How many troops are we at now? Ooh, we're almost, almost maxed. Wait another month. Let's have a look. I think we might be ready to raid. Now, they do have a retinue, which we can destroy. Let's want to check. They have 1.1 thousand troops. They, they've got so many now. Hmm, our base marshal score was so low, it's like trying to expand off of that is a difficult thing to do. Definitely want to raid. Have you gone to war again yet? No. So we're kind of waiting for these guys to go to war. In fact, I'll just uh, mark them up here so that we know what they're doing. Zent uh, Zentarim will mark up. Are we able we're probably able to raid a little bit further out, right? So if we w wanted to raid maybe Spellguard, we could do that. Uh, I mean, yeah, we don't quite... We don't have a reason to declare war, but we could do that. We'd also raid there, or maybe these guys? Ooh, they look great. If I can raid over there, that'd be fantastic. Let's set um, my troops up. Uh, toggle raider. Make sure we have a leader. I guess it's going to be us, and we're going to walk over there. Let's see. So we're raiding. We don't have enough men to actually siege down the province, which is actually something I should check here. Yeah, so we don't have enough men to even siege these guys unless we killed their entire levy. Which um, would be difficult to do. So yeah, we can take the we can skim off the top here and then leave. I think is our best plan. That's okay. A little bit of money never hurts. Um, it's a long term plan. Ooh, so vassalization wars are being declared for our liege. Hmm. So I don't not sure how I feel about that. The blade spread to the wield. The victorious blade, the elusive order of Eldrath. The Luthra have expanded their influence into the Weld. A branch of their sect has established itself in the forest of the Weld, uh, from where they control the surrounding countryside. All across Faerun, the Victorious Blade are now hunting those they see as obstacles to their obscure plans. So this is very similar to the Assassin's event in uh, Base CK2. So basically there's now an Assassin Society. Talking of societies, I suppose we could join one, you know, if we're just kind of not doing anything in particular. Uh, why don't we join the Black Network? The Zentarim, also known as the Black Network, is an evil organization intent on dominating the land from the Moon Sea to the Sword Coast North. It's a secret society, but for years the Zents have operated openly in the Moon Sea area. The Black Network has spies everywhere. Anyone could be a Zentarim, and some of them want to rule every town and steading between Xiaolong and Evermeet. I mean, it's very nice to be in the world of D&D, uh, &D, where effectively you can just say, this whole group of people, absolutely evil, because my their alignment chart says they are evil. So we're going to go join them. 
Why not? We're cruel. We're, you know, we're tributary of them. Why, why, why not join them for just now? So, you want to join the Black Network? Serve us well and you'll be greatly rewarded, because the entire world will serve us eventually. I like your plans. Cross us and you won't live long enough to regret it. Deal? 100%, I'm in. How's our siege going? We've almost got it. Cool. Uh, now, I could go here and snipe these troops. Uh, I su suspect they just raise the rest of them and destroy us, though. Uh, but now that I know I can siege this far out and raid this far out, I'm kind of tempted to go further. Yeah, let, let's go... Um, sorry, my mouse is acting up. Let's go over here and do a little bit of raiding. That's not us, but nice to know that Najara are doing a little thing. So they're attacking down there. That's interesting, because we... Oh, they have no money whatsoever. We could potentially raid this province. So I'm going to head back up there. Drop off uh, some stuff. Um, actually, that didn't even say we got any money. So I assume we didn't. Uh, I think that Najara should be down here. But I'm going to wait till I see a little sieging thing down here. There we go. Oh, wow. It's already sieged. Uh, okay, I'm, I need to go quickly. So one, defeat these troops. Two, skim off the top. Yeah, run. <laughs> we got everything. That's really not an awful lot of money we got from that. I assume I can't raid Zentarim. Right? Yeah. Yeah, that, that would be correct. What about over here? Mm, I can raid them, but they like they also have no money, I believe. Yeah, so it's not going to work. You know what? I don't like you having these troops. I'm just going to destroy them for no reason whatsoever. I'm a bad guy. I can do that sort of thing. I'm just checking. It doesn't look like our money is going up at all from the sieging. So it must be too far away. That's fine. So we'll head back. Um, on the other hand, we, we caused a little bit of chaos in the realm, which is always worth doing. Um, how many troops do we have now? We have an extra 91 sitting here. That doesn't seem to add up. Those two numbers don't equal. Uh, we should remember, though, that we do have an extra 500 whenever we want to. How many spell points do we have right now? 23. So if we had 24 spell points, we could potentially get a thousand troops but with that we get us 1.2 thousand 1.2 thousand is roughly exactly what you have this is forests you probably get a defense bonus in forests uh it doesn't actually say that you do but i assume that you do hmm i'm like we could maybe beat them up it's like so close it's it's worth thinking about but it's i just want something the other thing is we have to be the rulers right so that causes issues if we have to be the, sorry, the commander, because we're really bad. How about I do a crate undead? How much does it cost? 20. Oh, so we actually wouldn't be able to afford that and the animate dead. Is there anything else we can do at war? Maybe there's something else we can do. Uh, so that's animate dead. We can never cast banish. Okay. Uh, disrupt undead can never do. Oh, some of these ones, it just says, yeah, this is a, a reminder that you have the spell. Which... You know, it's useful to know, but isn't necessarily something we can do anything with right now. Lowers the target's attributes. Uh, a settlement decision. Can we do that on someone else's settlement? No, can we do that on our settlement? No, we can convert to goblinish, though. Um, I like that the name of the thing, but... Yeah, so we can't cast Blight on anything. Might be because we don't also might also not have enough skill points or anything like that. Not skill points, uh, spell points. The other way we can get in the air is we can cast clone. However, we need some money to be able to do that and 30 spell points. So that sounds a little bit far off. Got any new commanders? Nope. Hmm. I think we might just have to do it. I think I might just declare war. It's going to be closer than I'd want though. And we're going to come out of it not looking great. I'm going to declare the war and we'll see what happens. Right. Conquest. Raise our troops. Uh, we can call in our... Oh, we can call in Zentarim. Oh! Oh, this makes life a lot easier. I'll call them into the war. <laughs> that, that makes everything easier. Right, I'd also like to animate my dead. Uh, we'll close our, our spell book. Let's merge up. That makes everything so much easier. Uh, we only have one commander right now. Am I able to get another one? For 25 prestige and one gold? I'll spend that. So we got... Quasrint Kuda Hugudhu. What a name. I love the last name. It's so good. Right, excellent. Also, look at that martial score. That's insanely good. Okay. 
uh, he's not eligible to be a commander? Oh. Did I not just hire a commander? Um, well, what's up with you, mate? Why are you not eligible to be one of my many commanders? Hmm, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to attack. I knew that we were going into even numbers here. We have our leader. They don't have their leader. So I think actually we're going to get a morale advantage in the center. They do have this guy who's pretty good though. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, we'll let things go. We won the center because we had a leader. Uh, you will not join my bo uh, my wars at this time. So now we have a flanking bonus on the left. So we have more troops and a flanking bonus, which should mean that we win. But I'm not hunt And we have a commander still alive. I forgot that. Okay, so we do win. And we have enough to siege. Ooh, what's this special unit? Kind of curious. Oh, that wait, these are my special units? Oh, so that'll be my the ones that I spawned out of nowhere. Just wondering what exactly are they? Uh see. So they are it's just decanters. So just our undead troops. Oh, how good are they? Is the other question. Uh they are 0 0.01 for attack values. 2.2 for defense, so let's compare them to, like, heavy infantry. So they're worse than heavy infantry. Compared to light infantry, they're slightly worse in pursuit. Okay, that's fine. So we now should be able to just siege this and win, I think. Yeah, we should just be able to siege this and win. Assuming they don't come back and fight us, which they are going to, but now we have the forest bonus. So now we actually have a bonus in this battle, which isn't showing up. Ah, uh, it's my mouse uh, falling apart. But yeah, we now have a bonus in the battle, so we'll just keep doing the same thing to them over and over again if they attack us. However, they might be able to lower our troop number to below the defender count, which would be a problem. Hopefully they don't do that. Uh, we're now losing this battle. Oh, because they had the leader on the left flank. Seems kind of weird that we'd lose the battle now. Uh, how many spell points do we have? We have 23 again. Oh, well. You know what we do with 23 skill points? Uh, we wait a second or two and then we go and get our things. Where are you retreating to? Um, where are you retreating to? Oh, all the way over there? That seems a little bit far away. And now they're sitting on our territory. So where are these guys going to appear? It says in Helm's Rift. Oh, right. So they just appear, they appear on me rather than appearing on my army. Well, that's useful. Yeah. We'll, we'll grab them. Uh, merge up. How many skill points do we have now? So we have 13 left. So we can't, we cannot do another. Oh, the spell's on cooldown. We could do another. Wait, 23 minus 12. That does not equal 13. Okay, well that's fine. We're heading back over here. We're going to fight. Just doing a little bit of uh, quick maths in my head. Let's see. Uh... Haven't summoned... Oh, so you can't summon multiple of the same troops. Ah, so it stops you spamming it. Okay, that's good. Well, we should be able to win this battle because we have more troops now. Yep. That still holds true. Even in the mod, more troops equals win. Right. Siege down. There's an infidel at your court, my liege. I demand you burn the infidel at the stake. Yeah, it's a goblin. Burn him. Why not? Sounds like fun. I mean, what else is he doing? Just being a goblin, basically. I don't know why these are the only two people we can have as commanders. I wonder whether there's some trait that they're missing that allows them to be a commander or not. Hmm. I don't know. Right. Um, let's continue sieging. We'll get there eventually. Uh, did our 500 troops just... Oh, we got the outbreak of disease. Oh, but that seemed to do a lot more damage than I was expecting it to do. We are both basically just crawling around with nothing right now. I love it. Can I get more troops? Thank you. I think these troops uh, maybe disappear, like, really quickly. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but it seemed like they disappeared, like, there. I could be wrong, though. But they let us summon them again, so maybe they did disappear. Hmm, I don't know. Right, let's attack. Ooh, uh, what's the terrain here? The terrain here is mountains, so I would love mountain expert, please. So that should make us much better at fighting in our home territory. I might go defeat their army. Just make sure it's dead. That might be a good idea for just now. Instead of trying anything else. Oh, we're going to fight them in here. We're locked in, so let's fight. Okay, we defeated them. Let's grab our army. Walk back over to their capital, which is where they're going. 
While carrying out my duties for the Black Network, I have met the w Wolf Bishop on several occasions. These encounters have never ended well. One would be hard pressed to find a more unsympathetic character, I suspect he is spreading lies by my back to damage my reputation. Hmm. Okay. So I can confront him and become bitter rivals or lose power. I will definitely confront him. What does being in a society actually let us do? Steal wealth from the peasantry. Okay, very good. Uh, how can we do that? So I think I saw it in here earlier. So ruthless taxation. Uh, kind, honest, charitable rulers may face personal consequences. Who cares? But basically we can do this. We open Zen, which lowers some people's opinions of us, but none of them are around. We just lose network power. Oh, I'm just going to do that. Wealth keeps flowing through one of my provinces. The peasants have already already have adequate food and lodging. What do they need more money for? As a powerful and responsible ruler, I should appropriate all that gold before it gets spent on something frivolous. Oh, exactly. Oh, they weren't happy about it? Oh, there's always more than one way to skin a cat. I could simply take the gold whenever I want through force, but, uh, but would a different method be more appropriate? Alright, so it actually lowers our local tax for a while, but it gave us 30 gold immediately, which is cool. I was kind of wondering if it would give us more so I could hire mercenaries. Have we got any weak mercenaries that, oh, cost-wise? Nah, 100's the lowest it goes. 100 would be enough to be, like, a major power in the region, though. No? Right, beat up these guys again. Um, okay. This doesn't seem good. Is that us? Oh. I am surrounded. Blood is streaking down my face and my spear has begun to feel heavy. A huge beast of a man is looming towards me. But it seems... But seems to decide I'm not worth the trouble. I have just enough time to wonder why before someone runs a sword through my chest. I cannot believe Bishop outlives me. And we're dead. Well, that seems like a good point to end the first episode. Thank you for watching. Um, it looks like tomorrow we're gonna come back and we're gonna try this again, except with one major difference. We're not gonna die. So, thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed the first episode of the series, please consider leaving a like, comment, subscribing. I know everybody says this, but it's very important for the series growth and the channel growth, and it helps the great algorithm god in the sky decide that this is the video for other people. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye!